Good morning on behalf of Fossil team. I want to greet you all in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this morning service. Praise be to God. Hallelujah for this new month. Praise God for the gift of life and his faithfulness past eight months, the year 2021. Let us pray. Before I pray, I would like to read a few verses from the scripture. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch night. Teach us number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. May the favor of the Lord, our God, rest upon us, establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you, Lord, for this wonderful new day, new month, the year 2021. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness in our lives, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want to come to your presence with a sense of gratitude. Lord, we want to come to your presence as we are. The purpose, you are saving us from this dangerous virus, from this pandemic situation, to worship you and to know you and to love you and to glorify your name. Father God, this morning, we want to come to you as we are, to worship you, Lord. Lord, we want to bring praise of thanksgiving, and Lord, we want to sacrifice, Lord, our life, our life unto you, Lord Jesus. Continue to be with us throughout this service. Speak to us through songs. Speak to us through your servant, Lord. Lord, we want to learn from you. Continue to be with us. Lead us and guide us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's all sing beautiful hymn from the, from the blue hymnal. Hymn number 139. Uh, it will be displayed over there. In the, in the screen, on the screen. Please do follow us from our respective places. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is thy help and salvation. All ye who are now to His temple drawn, Yeah. 
eyes to the Lord who doth nourish that life and restore thee. Fitting thee well for the task that of ye were before thee. Then to thy name, God has Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity to come before your presence to worship you. Lord, we want to come before your presence, presence as we are. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, the way you are leading us, the way you are guiding us. Thank you, Lord, for your protection for past eight months. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you, Lord, the way you are protecting us, the way you are protecting our family members. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you, Lord, the way you are strengthening us. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you, Lord, the way you are enabling us to live for you. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you, Lord, the way you are helping us to serve in different capacities. Father, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to spend a very little time in your presence to worship our Creator God. Yes, Lord, you are our Creator. You are our Savior. Lord, you are our God. And you are our Master. Lord, you are our El Shaddai. Lord, you are God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, covenant-keeping God and promise-keeping God. Lord, we want to bow before you this morning. We want to worship you. Thank you, Lord, for this new month. Thank you, Lord, the way you are providing all our needs past eight months. Father, we want to thank you. Lord, we want to praise you. Thank you, Lord, for Emmanuel Methodist Church. Thank you, Lord, the way you are enabling us to do your ministry through Emmanuel Methodist Church this morning. Lord, we want to pray for each and every members of Emmanuel. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness in their life, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, the way you are protecting our dear people of this church, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the little ones. Thank you, Lord, for our, our elderly people of this church, Lord Jesus. This morning, Lord, we want to pray for Emmanuel Matthew Church forthcoming programs. Particularly, Lord, we want to pray for annual Thanksgiving service, which is going to take place on 12th of this month. Lord, we want to come before your presence with sense of gratitude, sense of thankfulness, because, Lord, you are protecting us from all dangers, from snares, from illness, from evil people, even from evil scheme. Father, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for Emmanuel. Lord, you are fulfilling your promise because, you, Lord, you promised, I will build my church. The gates of hell shall, shall never prevail against it. Yes, Lord Jesus, we belong to you. The church is your church. Thank you, Lord, the way you are building us, the way you are guiding us, the way you are strengthening us. Father, we want to praise you. We want to thank you, Lord, for each and every member of our congregation, Emmanuel. Lord, we want to pray for young people of this church. Lord, from today onward, these young people are going back to their colleges and schools. Some of them are going, to, going back to their work. Father God, we want to pray for these young people. 
continue to be with them and enable them lord that you are with them lord you enable them that they may realize your presence that emmanuel god is with me let them realize that you are with them lord jesus lord help them lord that they may focus on their studies and the work and the responsibilities lord jesus father we want to thank you we want to praise you lord particularly lord we want to pray for our church forthcoming program particularly lord we want to remember chennai regional conference which is going to take place in elagiri from 13th to 15th yes lord we need your presence we need your protection we need your guidance to go forth we need your wisdom to go forth give us journey mercy lord we want to pray for our episcopal leaders chennai regional conference office bearers district superintendents continue to enable them lord you guide them lord that they may that they may do things at the center of your will lord jesus father we want to pray for even this the situation which we are going through now covid pandemic situation protect us from this unseen dangerous virus lord jesus father we want to pray for our church uh, sick people those who are not well lord we want to pray for elderly people before lord we pray for elderly people we want to pray for sick people lord we want to remember your dear servant reverend paul singh lord we want to remember dr adela paul lord we want to remember mrs sarah matthew and also some of our members there those who are not able to share the names lord we want to pray for these dear servants lord jesus have mercy upon them lord you said you stretch forth your hand and heal them and touch them master that they may experience your healing touch that they may go forth to serve you and also that they may go forth to build your kingdom and build your church lord jesus lord this morning we want to pray for a church elderly people lord we want to pray for dr daniel rajendran lord we want to pray for dr rajesh seeli dr sulata george samano revit aunty roslin simian lord we want to remember aunty chandra ravi chandran lord we want to pray for mrs noble selin palfrey mary palfrey mrs lakshmi nyanashegar colonel surendra kumar mrs pet mary kopale lord we want to pray for some more elderly people and also mr krishnadas uncle how must he upon these dear people of yours lord jesus that they may experience your strength lord jesus in their life continue to protect your dear ones lord from this dangerous virus lord jesus thank you lord for sending forth your angels to help these elderly people of our church lord jesus continue to be with them lord jesus lord we want to pray for our church members those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries in this week and also even today and also from here up to continue to be with them help them to see many more years in their life lord jesus help them lord that there may be channel of blessing to many more people lord jesus father we want to pray for all committees and special committees and also their ministries continue to use your dear ones lord jesus for extension of your kingdom lord jesus Lord we want to pray for even your dear servant Ram James Raj when he is going to minister to us Lord we are eagerly waiting for your promise for the month of September speak to us Lord Jesus that we will be comforted and strengthened by your promises Lord Jesus Father God we want to thank you we want to praise you continue to be with us throughout this month Lord Jesus keep us away from all dangers from evil people Lord Jesus even from evil schemes Lord Jesus Lord we want to know you more and more in the month of September Lord we want to draw near to you Lord we want to love you more and more continue to be with us lead us and guide us in Jesus name we pray amen let's all join together by saying the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day of our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and glory forever and ever amen amen
scripture reading for this morning is taken from Psalm 100. Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us. And we are his, we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Shall we close our eyes? And look to God in prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, with heart full of thanks and praise, we come before the throne of your grace at this morning for this very privilege, Lord, that you have given to all of us. Lord, to submit ourselves, surrender ourselves with an attitude of Lord glorifying you. As we meditate your word, speak to us. Lord, give us a promise so that our lives will be directed by that promise that comes from you. Open our eyes, inspire us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dearly beloved, I greet all of you at this morning and I praise God for this wonderful privilege that God has given to all of us to come into his presence with thanks and worship. This month is very important for all of us, very particularly for the life of our church because on the second Sunday of this month being designated as Thanksgiving Sunday of our church. So this entire month we will be meditating upon uh, uh, another theme of Thanksgiving. So keeping that in mind, I just chose this Psalm 100 to talk about Thanksgiving. How to give thanks to the Lord. This very Psalm concludes a series of Psalms that began from Psalm 91 and Psalm 100 has its true setting in the millennial kingdom during the reign of Jesus Christ. This Psalm known as Psalm of Thanksgiving and in this very Psalm, the Psalmist brings a plea to the hearts of his readers to look to the Lord and to exalt his name. Many times we became guilty of expressing our thanks to God only on the specific time and specific occasions. But in reality, God expects all of us to be thankful to him every day, every hour, and every moment of our lives. Because being thankful to God is the will of God for our lives. That's why Apostle Paul exhorts the congregation of uh, you know, Thessalonica. When we read uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, where Paul says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. A wonderful verse, a verse that explains the heart of God. God wants all of us to be thankful to him. God asking us to be thankful because this very psalm gives us an evident of plenty of reasons to be thankful to God. So as we meditate, let's look at this verse clearly and understand how, as a child of God, you know, I can be thankful to him. 
I have divided my sermon into three areas and I will be dealing with how to come in the presence of God to thank Almighty. And we will be dealing, why should I be thankful to God? And at the end, we will be, uh, we'll be dealing with how should I be thankful to Him? These three questions, how should I come to be thankful to Him? Why should I be thankful to Him? And how should I be thankful to Him? So keep these things in mind. Let's read uh, this very psalm quietly. If you read verse 1 and 2, those verse explains how we can come to the presence of God. Verse 1 and 2, he says, Shout for the joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. A wonderful verse. Friends, if you read carefully, Psalm 23, 22 verse 3 describes that God promising us that he will dwell in the praises of his people. He will inhabit in the, in the praises of his people. When we come into his presence, the, the, when, we come, when we come and praise God, remember the presence of God is with us. There are three reasons I just want to give why, you know, how to be thankful to God. Verse 1. The psalmist says, make a joyful noise. What it conveys? It says, enter in God's presence with shouting. Enter God's pres into God's presence with shouting. Make a joyful noise. According to Hebrew text, this word, make a joyful noise, means to shout. Friends, let me tell you, you know, still the vocal praise unto the Lord is the fashion in God's economy. Remember, when we verbally declare our praise to Him, it glorifies the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. When we glorify God, when we declare His praise, that itself brings all of us into His presence. What is shouting? What, what the, the David talks about here when he tells shout means. The word shouting has the meaning. A soul that is filled with joy that expresses through lips. We cannot, it is not talking about shout that we usually understand. But for David, shouting means that our soul is filled with joy. And that very joy expresses the greatness of God through our lips. So he is telling, come in the presence of God. Shout. Let your soul continue to rejoice in God. And in verse 2 he says, enter his presence with service. I really like that word. You know, the KJV uses the word, serve the Lord with gladness. NIV uses the word, worship the Lord with gladness. Friends, in this verse 2, we are challenged to serve the Lord with gladness. It is a reminder to all of us that we never allow our labor, our service for the Lord to become dull in nature, to become drudgery in nature. Let us not become very tired of doing God's work. That's what Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 Paul describes about it. Gladness. The word gladness literally means delight and joy. So what it conveys? Our service to the Lord should not see as merely a job or duty, but our service to the Lord must be the very cause for our joy and gladness. I consider serving the Lord with gladness is the privilege that God offered to you and me at this morning. You know why? Because we are redeemed by His grace. We are chosen by Him to do His work according to His will in the world. That's why Paul encouraged Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. Paul says, I thank Jesus Christ our Lord who has given me strength to do his work. 
He has considered me as trustworthy. He has appointed me to serve him. What a commitment. Friends, as we are in the first day of this very month, remember that God Almighty, the creator of the universe, the one who called you out of darkness, is asking us to serve him with gladness. Worship him with gladness. The word service and obedience are always go hand in hand. Our obedience or our obedient service to the Lord is an expression of our worship to him. Dearly beloved, I just want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you. Let our obedient service to the Lord be a continuous expression of our worship to him. He's not only asking us to come into his presence with shouting and service, but also verse 2 describes, you know, he's asking us to sing, to sing. In other words, we are called to come into his presence with singing. The word sing literally means a ringing cry. It means, you know, lifting our souls unto the Lord through songs and worship. Singing song. Is a tremendous way to bless his name and to exalt him above everything. The intake from here is a child of God never hesitate to lift the songs of the heart unto the Lord because the songs brings glory unto him. That's why if you look at the history of Israel singing the ministry of the choir were very, very important in the temple of the Lord. Even in today in Christendom, in every church, singing plays an important role. Why we sing? That brings glory to God. The ministries of choir is very important. Why? It brings glory to Almighty God. Friends, you know, God inviting us to come into his presence. To come into his presence with shouting. To come into his presence with service. To come into his presence with singing. The second point. What uh, David is talking about here. Is found in verse 3. And I, I, I feel that this could be the promise. Of this month. Verse 3. It says know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us. And we are his. We are his people. The sheep of his pasture. What a wonderful promise the Lord extending to all of us. Word 3 defines the very nature of God. The psalmist says, know that the Lord is good. Know that the Lord is good. This very verse talks about the goodness of God. And verse 3 further describe about the power of God. It describes about the purchase of God. It describes about the provisions of God. So let's deal with all those things. Why should I be thankful to him? If you have that question, there is an answer from verse 3. The Lord says, be thankful to me because I am the one who made you. Look at verse 3. The psalmist says, it is he who made us. Many times we are so scared of the context that we are in. But remember, God is owning us. He's telling, be thankful to him. The, the, the scripture says, be thankful to him because it is he who made us. A classical ex, you know, explanation of his power. His power is revealed in the process of creation. When we look around the world, when you look around the creation, you know, that gives us joy to worship him. The creation reveals the power of God. The creation reveals the work of God. You know, that's what uh, uh, the Genesis talks about it. From chaos to cosmos, from disorder to order, from nothing to something. And we look around the human being. Genesis records also that we are now formed by him. We are formed in his likeness, in his image. And the Lord Almighty, the creator and the sustainer of the universe 
came and breathed his spirit upon uh, Adam. What an amazing example God is giving at this morning, my dear beloved. And if you look at our, look at our own life, it's not only, you know, the revelation, the, the creation reveals God's power. The likeness of God, the human being reveals God's power. When we look at our own life, that itself reveals the power of God. No, if you see the great power of God is utterly revealed on the rugged cross of Jesus Christ. Where Jesus recreated, where Jesus remade, where Jesus redeemed you and I as his brand, as his image. That should be the reason to praise him and to be thankful to him. Once we were far from him, but on the cross, Jesus reconciled you and I with God Almighty. That's why Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he says, If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. That has been done on the cross by Jesus. Once we were old, having the old nature, but Jesus made everything new, imparting his nature in us. The psalmist says, be thankful because we are his. Now, he's the one who made us. And the second reason to be thankful to God, you know, because he purchased us. If you read verse 3, again, he says, know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us. And next verse he says, and we are his people. We are his people. You know what it means? It means we are his personal possession. I really rejoice when I was meditating upon it. Myself is the possession, the personal possession of Jesus Christ. He is the one who possessing me. You know, that's why Paul says in Titus chapter 2, verse 14, Paul says, he gave his life to free us from every kind of sin, to cleanse us and to make us his very own people, totally committed to doing God's work. What it means, if you divide that verse, what Paul says, Paul says, he gave his life to free us from every kind of sin. He gave his life to cleanse us from all uncleanliness. He gave his life to make you and I as his own people. He gave himself so that you and I will be totally committed to him to do his work. Because we are his people. The word redeemed is understood by Greek culture and language in three different uh, ways. Let me explain to you. The psalmist says we are his people. We are his personal possession. It means in the, in the New Testament language, you know, we are redeemed by Jesus Christ. If you look at that word, redeem, according to Greek, it has three different categories. Three different words gives three different meanings. The first meaning for word redeemed is agoroso in, in, in Greek. The word agoroso means to buy in the marketplace. It has the reference of Revelation chapter 5 verse 9. You know, it, it says that God, you know, uh, uh, it has a reference of purchasing a slave from the slave market and writing off all the auction tag that was upon him or her. Now that is what Jesus did on the cross. He paid the full praise that you might be go free from the penalty of sin. Agora saw. The second word for redeem mentioned in Galatians chapter 5 verse 9 explains ex agora so, which means take off from the marketplace. In other words, that again talks about Jesus Christ. Jesus paid the price for us on the cross. And we are no longer up for sale. We are no longer, you know, dwelling in the slave market. Because Jesus paid a complete price 
on the cross and he brought us and he decided us and he decided to keep us for his glory what a mighty god we have friends remember as you you know in the first day of this month you and i are god's personal possession you and i are god's people ex agara so he you no know, he took us out of the marketplace he took us out of the position and of, of slave he gave us a free will to follow him the fact is that we are belong to him and we will be belonging to him forever and that should be the amazing reason to shout praise and say hallelujah and be thankful unto him the third word uh, uh, for redeem been used as uh, lutron in greek which means to release after the payment of the purchase price again refers the life of jesus on the cross it pictures one who buys a slave and then turns them to be a free man he bought us once we were in slave but he released us he freed us from all the sinful nature once slave but no longer we are slave to the sin no longer we have the grip of the stain of sin in us what an amazing god we have on the cross jesus brought us out of slave of sin he redeemed us he removed us from the cell and set us free not to go and sin again he set us free so that we may go and serve him with our faithful and sincere hearts he redeemed us he redeemed us and finally god also no no uh, why we need to be thankful he says because of his provision is not only purchased us but also he continually pro- providing everything that is need of our lives verse 3 you know it 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 very clearly defines we are his people the sheep of his pasture we are his flock the sheep of his pasture i just want to place you you know before your eyes psalm 23 which describes an ultimate heart of the shepherd jesus is our good shepherd and he provides whatever we are in need i do not know what is your need at this morning but i would like to encourage and exhort you that jesus is our good shepherd and he is jehovah jaira a provider and he is the one who sustains us and finally how should i be thankful to him if you read was 4 and 5 of this very chapter you know how can i express my praises for the lord if you keep that question and read was 4 and 5 that explains a wonderful thing he says enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name for the lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generation beloved our praise and thankfulness to god should be visible as well as it should be vocal that's why the psalm he says enter his gates with thanksgiving The psalm says that we have to enter his gates with thanksgiving enter his courts with praise now this is not an activity that has to be done somewhere in the corner somewhere isolating ourselves where no one could see us but what it means let your praise be visible and vocal let people around you see that you are praising god let people around you see that your life impacting their life so that they may glorify god through their life as well so in other words jesus is keeping us as a living testimony living witness to influence the people around us i still remember that two weeks back i spoke about the importance of light and salt you know jesus says let our light and saltiness 
retain in us. Let the light of Christ, the taste of Christ retain, you know, filled in us so that the world may see who we are. I just want to close with the saying of, you know, the, with the verse of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21 where God said, you are my chosen people. I formed you for myself that you may proclaim my praise. Remember, you are not an ordinary person. God says, you are my own. You are my own. In the very passage, he says, I have formed you. You are chosen one. I have formed you for myself that you may proclaim my praise. Friends, at this new day, we as a church virtually gather together, praise our God Almighty. As we are viewing this morning worship service, let us be thankful to God because of his faithfulness upon us all through these pandemic days. Let us be thankful to God because all through these eight months, he is faithful to lead us. And he's the one who enabled us to enter into this new month. Remember, it is not our strength, it is not our might. It is the grace alone enabling us to come into his presence. May I call upon each one of you to be more active in the praises of our Savior Jesus Christ. More active in our lives to thank God for all his bountiful blessings upon all of us as individual, as well as as a family, as well as as a church. Take this as a time of evaluating ourselves. Sit quietly in the presence of God at this very morning and take time to count all his blessings, all his blessings one by one and be thankful to him. As we are going to celebrate our Thanksgiving Sunday on this month, second Sunday of second Sunday, let us begin to write everything what God has done unto us, unto our families, unto our church life, and thank God as a family. May God bless you and may His presence go before you all through the days of your life. Shall we close our eyes and look to God in prayer? Gracious, loving God, we thank and praise you, Master, for this morning. Lord, you have called us to give thanks. Lord, you have called us to exalt your name. We are called by you, chosen by you, Lord, formed by you to proclaim your praises, Lord. Enable us, O oh Master, to come into your presence with shouting, with service, with singing. Enable us, O oh Master, to be thankful to you because it is you who made us. Lord, it is you who purchased us and we became your personal position. We are your people. Lord, enable us to be thankful to you, Lord, because you are our provider. And Lord, lead us as a church to be thankful to you. Invisible as well, Lord, in vocal life. So that, Lord, ultimately through our lives, your name would be glorified. Be with us. Be with us, O oh Master, to living as a living Lord, to live as a life that is, Lord, full of your testimony to the people around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for sharing God's word especially reminding us of the fact that we are called to be thankful, the reasons for being thankful, that how we should come to him to be thankful. How should, we, should I come to be thankful to him? Why should I be thankful to him? And how do I express my thanks to God? 
a few announcements before we sing the last hymn. They are uh, the regular announcements on behalf of the pastoral team. I'd like to wish each one of you, especially as you begin a new month, a blessed month. And we hope that this whole month will be a time of great blessing and a time of thanksgiving. We are hoping that through this month, we will be looking at the theme thankfulness, that how we need to be thankful. I believe that a thankful heart is always a heart that is winsome. It draws people to, to, to them and to God. And so we want to encourage you to focus in we know that the situations are bad, but in spite of that, God's people can be thankful. And so this is the theme that during this, this month we'll be following. The MYF, the, the MYAF, the Home Builders, the Methodist Men, Methodist Elders Fellowship, the WSS, they will all be having their regular meetings throughout the week and the month. The Sunday School has resumed. Please get in touch with... Uh, Mr. George Abraham for further details. The EMC Choir continues to meet for prayer on Saturdays at 9 p.m. Community prayer, we meet every Sunday evening from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. We want to encourage you to come and join us. As already has been mentioned a number of times, the EMC Emmanuel Methodist Church annual Thanksgiving service will be held on the 12th. September, and uh, we would encourage you to join us online. And also, if you have any thanks offerings, to be willing to give generously towards what all that God has done for us. Let us express our thanks through uh, the gifts and uh, gifts and tithes that we offer. Methodist Elders Fellowship will be held on the 4th of September, that is Saturday, this Saturday, from 5.15 p.m. The speaker for this Saturday is uh, Mrs. Purnima Raj, and the theme for the Methodist Elders Fellowship is Living Life to the Fullest. The young people continue to go for their camp, and this will be an online camp from the 10th of September to the 12th of September. Every evening, 10th to the 12th, they will be meeting from 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And the speaker is Reverend Dr. Duke Jairaj. For further details, please and get in touch with Mr. Shebuel and our, our Shiny. Along the lines and talk the talk Everybody knows it, everybody knows it The road less travel is hard to walk Everybody knows it, everybody knows huh. It takes a soldier We have been announcing about the new account that we have started because we start from 1st of September. We would request you to start contributing to the new account, new bank account. The details of the new bank account are, comes up in the screen and you may transfer your money to that. We will soon be also sending out the QR code and if you would like to use the Paytm or uh, the use the co QR code, you can do so. We will send that out in the WhatsApp groups a little later. As we conclude our worship service this 
morning as the on the first of this month we're going to conclude with a beautiful hymn a hymn that was a favorite of mahatma gandhi a hymn that talked about in spite of all these all the things and then and the gloomy scenes that are there that it is an appeal to god to take us through this month and be thankful for all that he has done and so let us all sing wherever we are the beautiful hymn lead kindly light amid the encircling gloom lead thou me on the night is dark and i am far from home lead thou me on lead kindly light amid the encircling gloom lead thou me on the night is dark and i am far from home lead thou me on he thou my feet i do not ask to see the distant sin one step in a for me i was not ever thus no pray that should lead me on i love to choose and see my path but now lead thou me on i love the garish in spite of it I ruled my will remember not past years so long thy path hath blessed me sure it still will lead me on oh and tor and the night is gone and with the morn those angel faces smile which i have loved long since and lost a pray almighty god our heavenly father we thank you once again for speaking to us and reminding us lord the reasons for being thankful we thank you that you have called us to be your children you have created us you have made us your own and you have set us free redeemed us and set us free we thank you for the wonderful privilege of being able to worship you in this land we are thankful to you lord and so our hearts are filled with gratitude and as we live wherever we live throughout this month help us oh master to be thankful and lord help our thankfulness to be infectious so that people around us may also become thankful for all that they have and they have received father at this time we just want to come at every one into your hands every family into your hands we pray that you will take us through this new month that your protection will be there and your hand of provision will be available to each one to that then we commit ourselves into your hands and we offer this prayer in jesus precious name amen
And now may the peace of God that transcends all human understanding guard your heart and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us both now and forevermore.